Did you ever wonder why new immigration cases are being approved faster than your case that has been pending forever? We'll answer this question in this video. Hello everybody and welcome back to Immigration Channel. This is where we explain complex immigration matters in short, simple videos. We make immigration easy and in this video we'll answer the most common question that I get asked all the time. My friend got their case filed two months ago and it's already approved and my green card has been pending forever. Why? You'll know in a few minutes in this video I'll tell you exactly how UCIS review process works and why some new cases sometimes get priority over old cases that have been pending for a long time and what can be done about it. We'll go over the whole process and I'll answer this specific issue that bothers so many people. Before we do that, if you're here for the first time, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of our videos as well as our live streams. And also give us a big like so YouTube will be able to show this video to more people just like you. As always, if you need help with your immigration matters, send me a text 619-483-4549 or simply go to www.immigrationasap.com, leave your details over there and one of our team members will contact you ASAP. Now let's dive into this topic which again is bothering so many people because I have clients that have been pending for years, sometimes two years and they tell me my neighbor, my cousin, my friend, they just filed the same case and they were approved and I'm still pending. Why is this happening? Before we can answer this question, I want to explain to you the process of how UCIS is accepting and reviewing cases. It's really important for you to understand that because you who file your cases and send them to UCIS, you have no idea where they are going and what they are doing in the background to process your cases. And I'm going to tell you exactly what they do and then we'll answer the question why some new cases are being adjudicated faster than cases that have been pending for a while and if it's happening, why it's happening because it's so unfair. What is the review process when you submit a case to UCIS? When you file your forms with UCIS and send your filing fees, the process of review begins. Once your information arrives to UCIS, what they do in their system, they'll indicate that your document arrived to their facilities. But before they start evaluating the case, they need to do the following three things. They have to create your file, they have to do other initial work to put preparation for other officers who eventually are going to get your case to be able to use the documents you send them. And number three, they actually have to assign a team that will eventually handle your case. Those three things must happen before your file will reach a desk of an officer. Once your case is assigned to a immigration officer, the active review process will begin and it should be updated on their website. During the review process, their team will go over your paperwork and analyze a first impression of your file. At that point, they will analyze the evidence and any supporting documents that you've submitted to them at the initial stage. At that point, they will decide if they need to request more information from you. All the things I just mentioned to you occur during the active review step. Now you may ask yourself, how long will this take, the review process? They will thoroughly go through your case before make a decision whether to request more evidence or to make a final decision on your case. The active review stage begins when an officer is actually assigned to your particular case. Depending on your particular case, this could last a few weeks, a few months and sometimes even a few years. Now you may ask yourself, why is it taking so long for them to make a decision on your case? <clears throat> In one of the conferences that we attended, the liaison for USA has said that sometimes it takes them anywhere from 15 minutes to sometimes several hours to process one case. Just one case. And if that's the case and they have all these thousands of cases, it really depends on the complexity of the file and if they need to do further research or background checks on a particular application before they are either issuing requests for evidence or making a decision. But in general, just so you know, most of these officers will not spend more than 30 minutes on each application. And of course, they get thousands of cases every single day arriving to their facilities. And that's why it may take sometimes months or even years for certain cases to be processed. Now, let's get back to our original question. Why do some new cases 
get adjudicated before an older case that was already pending there for months or sometimes years. Remember that some of the older cases were sent using paper and now a lot of new applications are eligible for online filing. That's one reason. A lot of the new cases that arrive, whether they are filed online or by paper, are immediately digitalized. They go and being scanned and uploaded to the immigration online processing system. Therefore, Therefore, some of the new cases might be able to get to an officer for review much faster than some of the old cases that need to be physically transported via vehicles to adjudicating officers. Because many of these older cases are sometimes based in USCIS archives. And by the time they reach an officer, they physically need to be transported. And so the way they do it is that imagine an officer receives a file, they issue a request for evidence. If it's an older case, there is no way for them to digitize that file. What they do is they request for evidence and then they send the case back to the facility where it's being stored because sometimes it may take weeks or months for them to receive responses from the applicants, from the applicants or maybe a third agency where they request an information about the case. In the meantime, while they wait, the officers are, in the meantime, while they wait, the officers are not going to hold those applications on their desk. They will send them back to the holding facility until they receive an answer and then they request the case to be sent back to them. Therefore, some old cases might take longer to be adjudicated than similar cases that are being filed today that actually have a chance to be digitized and reach an officer much faster. That's the answer. It's very simple. It's all about when you file your case and whether that case is now being stored in a physical facility or being stored in their cloud. The bright side, at least we know USCIS has now joined the 21st century. They are scanning cases and you will see more and more cases will be processed faster in the next few years to come. So that's your answer. If your cousin received their petition approved before your case, it's because your cousin filed the case recently and probably their case is now in the digitized system and yours is sitting in a warehouse somewhere. Once again, hopefully this answers your questions. If you need help with your immigration case, if your case is stuck and you need somebody to take action, please send me a text 619-483-4549 or go to www.immigrationasap.com, leave your details, and we'll contact you ASAP. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next episode. Perfect. Good.